They are both must-do attractions for Harry Potter fans and theme park visitors from around the world. But which one is the true master of magic? Hello and welcome to Rigsflix and welcome to another segment of Versus. Before we begin, we publish theme park videos on this channel all the time, so hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another video is ready for you to view. One attraction is in Hogsmeade, the other in Diagon Alley. Which one will cast a spell over you? Round one, cue and theming. Let's start this battle by visiting the safest place on earth, which is gonna be Gringotts Bank. The exterior facade of the bank is imposing, basically because there's an escaped fire-breathing dragon on top of it. Keep a watchful eye out. Every so often, I would say about every 15 minutes, that dragon will light you up with a blaze of fire. Once we step inside the actual bank, we can see the goblin bank tellers handling their daily transactions. These animatronics are truly a product of engineering magic. Move along to the security office to have your Gringotts identification photo taken. Then, proceed to the large office at the end of the corridor, where an assistant will prepare for your first visit to the vault. After leaving the front of the house banking area, it's time to head down into the vaults. But before we get to the lifts that will take us to the vaults, Bill Weasley will greet us and help build that backstory to this ride. What was that? The Weasley's Wildfire whiz bangs. The question is, what are you doing here? I was about to show our new plan to the vault. If you don't mind, I'll join you on your tour. We can all leave together. I'll meet you at your cars. But what are we talking about? Let's get rid of it. Now, let's move on to the queue and theming of the Forbidden Journey. While the previously mentioned Gringotts Bank and Fire Breathing Dragon are breathtaking, the Forbidden Journey attraction is located inside a freaking Hogwarts Castle. I mean, just look at it. Hogwarts Castle, right there. Lifted from the pages of the books and the frames of the movies to right in front of your very own eyes. This queue is going to take us through the hallowed halls of Hogwarts. Once inside, we are going to visit some iconic locations, such as Dumbledore's office, the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom, the Gryffindor common room, the Room of Requirement, and more. Along the way, we are going to encounter talking pictures on the walls, the Sorting Hat, and also, we're going to run into Dumbledore, Harry, Hermione, and Ron. It's hard for a bank to compete against an actual castle. Winner of round one goes to the Forbidden Journey. Well, we love theme park thrills on this channel, so let's start with the Forbidden Journey. With the Forbidden Journey ride, grab a seat on this enchanted bench and get ready to soar above the castle grounds as you join Harry Potter and his friends on an unforgettably thrilling adventure coming face to face with an array of magical creatures. The Forbidden Journey is a motion-based dark ride that takes you through scenes and environments in and around Hogwarts Castle. You want a thrill? Try riding an enchanted bench with Harry Potter through a Quidditch match. discuss the thrill factor of escape from Gringotts. Ladies and gentlemen, a wild cart ride awaits you. Be warned, it is not for everyone. Muggles might describe the journey to the vaults as a high-speed roller coaster ride with sudden and dramatic acceleration, climbing, stopping and diving. Even some in the magical community find the ride a bit challenging. 
Gringotts is what I call a hybrid ride. That means it is part roller coaster and part screen ride. At the start, the vehicle is going to tilt downwards and then it's going to be released. It is at this point you are dropped and you get that sensation of losing your stomach. Later on in the ride, there is a section where your vehicle is going to do some spinning around and then near the end of the ride, there is a launch section. So when it comes to thrills, Gringotts is right on the money. Point for this round goes to Escape from Gringotts. Round three, let's consider the on-ride special effects. Escape from Gringotts requires you to wear 3D goggles because it has a lot of 3D scenes and it's a high quality 3D technology used on this ride. And the mixing of the 3D elements with actual roller coaster elements makes Gringotts a very unique experience. The Forbidden Journey is an amazing attraction using groundbreaking state of the art technology and a little magic to create a one of a kind ride. What I like about the Forbidden Journey ride is the mixture of screen effects combined with practical effects. With Journey, you get on-screen experiences, but between those screen elements, there is a lot of physical, practical effects. Now for me, the best of those practical effects are going to be the Whomping Willow, the spider sections, and there is an awesome practical effects with a dragon. So it's this mixture of having both on-screen effects mixed with practical effects that are going to give the point of round three to The Forbidden Journey. Round four, let's talk about ride enjoyment. How fun is the ride? With Escape from Gringotts, you get that hybrid ride experience, part roller coaster with a drop, with spins, and a launch. Plus, you get that immersive 3D-based storytelling aspect that really sets you inside the action. This is a very fun ride experience, one of the most fun theme park attractions anywhere in the world. What about the ride enjoyment of the Forbidden Journey? Let's check it out. Well, the technology used for this ride creates a very unique ride experience. As previously mentioned, it gives you both on-screen enjoyment as well as practical effects enjoyment. However, the on-screen visuals combined with the amount of swinging and swaying that occurs on this ride causes a bit of motion sickness for some riders. Personally, once I reach the halfway point of this ride, I have to close my eyes to try to curtail that feeling of motion sickness. And for those reasons, it's the Escape from Gringotts ride that earns the point for this round. And now the final round, round five, storyline and characters. With Escape from Gringotts, the storyline involves, well, escaping from Gringotts. It's Bill Weasley that is sort of the main guide for you on this ride, starting in the pre-show queue area. At the start of this ride, we are going to encounter Bellatrix Lestrange, who wants to extract some information from us. There is one short scene with Harry, Ron, and Hermione, but the highlight of this ride, the highlight of the storyline and the characters, has to be when Bellatrix meets up with the Dark Lord himself with Nagini to threaten you. Then the climax is when the dragon shows up and saves you from Voldemort. The storyline of the Forbidden Journey, I would say is less elaborate. It basically involves trouble arising and Harry Potter showing up to fly you to safety. The big plus of the Forbidden Journey ride in this round is the amount of time you get to spend with Harry Potter. And you get to spend the bulk of your time flying around in an enchanted bench next to the chosen one. That's pretty cool. However, this is one time Harry cannot cast a spell on the Dark Lord. Point awarded to Gringotts for its more immersive storyline and a chance to stare down the Dark Lord himself. Oh my goodness, guys, that was a close one. You don't know how close that was, how each round, how close everything was. It could have gone either way, but it didn't. It went to the favor of Escape from Gringotts. Now, if you are a Forbidden Journey fan, let me know in the comments below just how wrong I am. And with that being said, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks, and now it's time to relax. 
to the viewer shout outs. Time to say thanks to those who have donated to the coffee page and bought us a coffee or a butterbeer recently. Let's start out with Eric, or more importantly, his kids, Sage and Abel. Don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun, guys. Next up, how about some Harry Potter fans? Melanie, Ed, and Xander. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed Harry Potter World. And also, how about a shout out to Baby May, who just turned one. And here is a Coke and a smile to Amanda. Hey Amanda, enjoy your adults only vacation. And lastly for today, how about a shout out to Lauren Riley, who spotted a hidden Ricky in one of the videos. Thanks for watching, Lauren. Thank you.